Okay guys, so for tonight's homework you have to do this sheet here, rate of change and initial value practice. Don't forget that our test is this Friday. So um, we did, most of our classes did do all of these, so just as a refresher, stage one here, if you count the number of tiles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's eight tiles here. How did it change from stage one to stage two? A tile was added to the top and bottom in the middle of the figure, whether it's these two or these two, or doesn't matter, but two to the middle, and that caused the figure to expand. Since only two uh, tiles were added to the original eight, that there should be ten now. So if you want to double check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, at any time in the video, you can always pause and think about what um, I said, and also maybe you can try to do some things on your own and then check to see if you did it right. So stage three, again, we're going to add two more. So again, you can choose these two or these two or these two, doesn't matter. But in the middle, you're, you're adding two more tiles. And since the previous stage had 10, you should have 12 here. To confirm that, you can um, count the tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. OK, you can keep cutting. <laughs> um, and then for stage 4, OK, we're basically doing the same thing. And if, you, if it helps you, think about this top row. Um, there's five tiles here to begin with, so we're going to add another one and make it six. If you hear paper cutting in the background, that's just Miss Warner helping me out, so you can just kind of tune that out, okay? So I'm going to make a long block here, so we have one, two, three, four, five. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, because here we had five. Okay, and notice the height of the rectangle, rectangular looking figure doesn't um, change, so I'm just going to try to make it the same height as the original, and this should also have one tile added on from the previous stage, so there should be six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then there's only one more tile in between them. So we should expect it to be 14 tiles, and to check, we'll count, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And I'm going to shade it because the other ones were shaded, but that's not a really big deal, okay? And then stage five, we're going to pull from stage four. And since the top row, top and bottom row had six, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm going to add one more to make seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then another row just like it underneath. And then one block, one tile in between. There we go. So we should expect it to be 16 tiles. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. All right, now we do need to make sure we have a stage 0 because we can't write our equation without stage 0. So if you notice, we're adding 2, then adding 2, then adding 2, then adding 2, then we'll have to subtract 2 to have 6 tiles. But which 2 are we subtracting? Well, remember here, we always added two to the middle, added two to the middle, and then added two to the middle, okay? Now, we're going to take two from the middle. So we're going to take those two out. Imagine those blocks being taken away, and you have this, row, this column of three and this column of three, and there's no gap between them. So what you end up having is this situation. So you have six here, okay? So on your table, please make sure that you write what x is representing. x is representing your stage number, so we're going to write that in here. y is representing the number of tiles, and there's a relationship between them. So the lowest stage that we have is stage 0, and the number of tiles is 6. At stage 1, you have 8. At stage 2, you have 10 tiles. At stage 3, you have 12 tiles stage 4 you have 14 tiles and stage 5 you have 16 tiles. So putting it into words, I start with blank tiles in stage 0. Well that's right here. You started with 6 tiles. And with that you added 2 tiles with every stage. So 2 tiles. So if you refer back to your notes on page 74 then you'll remember that this should be your initial value and this represents your rate of change because that is being multiplied 
um, with every stage. Remember, this is your stage number. If you look here, they co um, correspond. And your Y represents the number of tiles. So how many tiles are you adding with each stage? You're adding two tiles repeatedly. Repeated addition results in multiplication. And which, how many tiles did you start with in your initial, as your initial value? Six. So do not write y equals 6x plus 2. You've put that you had an initial value of 2 and that you were adding 6 each time. That is not correct. So please be careful not to confuse the 2. All right, now let's go to the graph. This is the y-axis because it's vertical, and it's representing the number of tiles. Whereas down here, this is horizontal, that's representing the x-axis, and that represents the stage number. So this, um, it's not written in here, but you can. This zero is where these axes intersect. And so stage number-wise, you have stage zero, stage one, stage two, stage three, and so on and so forth. Whereas going on the y-axis, you have zero tiles, then one tile, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way up to 20 tiles. So let's uh, draw an ordered pair, plot ordered pairs, representing the relationship between the two. At stage zero, okay, which is the origin, okay, how many tiles do I have? I have six, so this is where it starts. At stage one, I have eight tiles, so I'm here. And then at stage two, 10 tiles. At stage three, 12 tiles. Stage four, 14 tiles. Stage five, 16 tiles. And I should have one, two, three, four, five, six ordered pairs, which I do here, so that's a good sign. And you notice that it looks like its behavior, it's behaving like a linear function, like a line. Don't connect them though, just keep them discrete. All right, I'm gonna go to the next one. I would uh, advise you to pause the video at this point and see, you know, or at any point, but especially here to see if you can go ahead and use what we did in this um, pattern task A to apply it to pattern task C. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a look at what's going on here. We've got a pattern going on. In stage one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiles. And then looks like it took the original, which is like right here, and just added a row of three right to the bottom of it, pushing it up. So you have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then adding a three to that, so adding three to it, so it's 10. Then you're taking stage three, you started with the original from stage two, and you added a row of three. So add three, it's 13. So hopefully that's pretty simple. I basically redraw this, so I have one, and then one, two, three, four, three. So I'm gonna have one, and then four rows of threes. Oops, how do I do this? I'm not the best drawer, so um, let's see. That looks right. One, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then the thirteen. Okay. Then just add a row of three. So you should have sixteen now. If you want to double check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay. Now I'm going to take that sixteen. So Let's see, I'm gonna to try to be a little work smarter here. Looks like a big old rectangle. And I have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna make it six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, because I'm adding a row. And I got one here, I'm just gonna do that. And hopefully that's 19, let's see. Well, we've got three here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, that's three times six is 18, plus one is 19. If you want to count each tile, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 tiles. So as you see the pattern here, we're adding 3, then adding 3, then adding 3, then adding 3. But if we're going to write an equation and be able to fill in this part, we need to know what stage 0 is again. Okay, so if we're adding 3, then we need to take away 3. So we're going to have to take this 3 away, and we're left with what looks like that, just this top part of it. Okay, so the one and then the three, so that's a four piece, which makes sense. Okay, so now, oh, I guess this is a typo, didn't mean for there to be word two words of the table here. I'm gonna put X here and Y here. X is your stage number, okay? And Y is the number of tiles. Start at zero for stage, so we have 
that. And again, please, I know I'm going through this a little bit quickly, so at any time you can always quit, uh, pause the video, try it on your own, check it, go back and forth as much as you need. So the number of tiles in stage 0 is 4, and then you ha add a row of 3 and 7, then 10, 13, 16, and then 19. So I start with how many tiles in stage 0? I start with 4. And you are adding 3 tiles with every stage, so 3 tiles. So if you remember, the initial value goes here, and the rate of change goes here. So the initial value is the value at stage 0. How many tiles do you have at stage 0? And I have 4, if you look here. And then the rate of change is that you're adding 3 with each stage, so 3 times x plus 4. Okay, so now we are ready to graph. The y-axis is representing number of tiles. So once again, if it helps you to wrap your brain around it by just thinking about it, like this is zero tiles, then two tiles, then three tiles, then seven tiles, then eight tiles, all the way up to 20 tiles. Okay, I'm going to put zero here to represent the origin. The x-axis, okay, represents the stage number. So this is stage one, stage two, stage three, so on and so forth. Okay, and so let's see what happens at stage zero. How many tiles do we have? We have four tiles. Okay, stage one, we have seven. Stage two, we have 10. Stage three, we have 13. Stage four, we have 16. And stage five, we have 19. I'm just gonna double check. I have one, two, three, four, five, six order pairs, which I should. And looks like I'm also going in a linear fashion. So you might ask maybe, does it always go upward? Because it looks like it's going up. Not necessarily. So you'll see where it might go down um, as we get more advanced. Again, if you have any questions, try reviewing back over this video or look back over your notes. Feel free to call a friend or if you want to message me through talking points, you can do that as well. Okay, guys, good luck. Our test is this Friday.